Hi guys, today we're making Wolverine Claws in under 5 minutes. And if you're a beginner, I recommend playing through the video once before starting to get a feel for what we are doing. Okay, so let's open Blender. Okay, so before we start, go into Edit, Preferences, search for Node Wrangler and make sure this is enabled. This is built in with Blender, so you should have it. This will really speed up our node workflow when we work in the shader editor. And this will be our main reference. So we'll be making one claw, then duplicate it later. First, add a curve. Let's just make it straight like this. Let's make the curving part here, like this. So extrude this, rotate it. For this part, let's click V, set handle type to free, so that we can move this handle to make this sharp. Then make another one here by clicking E. I think something like this is nice. And also let's make this top a little bit sharper. So let's move this in a little bit so we get a little bit of a edge here. Nice. Now we have the outline. Let's duplicate it with Shift D. Click M to put it into a new collection. And let's call this backup. Now let's convert this to a mesh by clicking Object, Convert, Mesh. And let's also add a mirror modifier. Search for mirror. And change the axis until it looks right. Kind of like this. Alright, so let's make this flat top here. So select the one at the top here and shift control clicking the one at the bottom to select all the vertices click e to extrude and extrude it out like this and now enable clipping turn on proportional editing here make sure it's on linear and connected only and now let's move this vertice in like this all the way in and do the same at the bottom we have to scroll up to make the follow bigger now select these vertices click x and click delete and select all the edges coming after this part so select them click x dissolve edges now select this edge click e x to extrude along the e axis all the way out click s to scale x on the e axis and zero to scale it to zero enable snapping up here hover over this vertice to snap it to this vertice so that it's exactly aligning here now if we look at reference we see that this part is thick at the bottom so to do this it disable clipping, select all the parts at the bottom here, enable proportional editing, and let's move this along the y-axis like this. So we'll make it thick at the bottom here. Now enable clipping again and select all these vertices going out. Click E to extrude and extrude in. Now let's fill up the rest of the blade. We have to make sure that there are the same amount of vertices at the top and bottom here. So to add vertices, click Ctrl R and click on an edge and then double click G to move it along the edge. And do this until you have the same amount on the top and bottom. Now make it triangle all the way at the tip here like this by clicking F. And then just keep clicking F all the way here. And now let's do the same for this part. Let's add a loop over here and then just count here. Here's one, two, three, four, five vertices. So let's add five vertices here and do the same thing. Click F. And even if you click F, it, it will stop here. This is because this is where the bottom is starting. So let's manually add a face here and let's split this in two by clicking Control R and let's count the vertices from this one so one two three four and let's add four loops here click F to fill them and let's do the same here here are 12 vertices add 12 cuts click here and just click F all the way and fill the backside too and if it looks a bit flat here let's fix it by selecting this clicking Control B to add a bevel and click this vertice this vertice and click J to connect them and then we'll have a little bit of a smoother transition now the blade is done but it's looking a bit flat so let's turn on proportional editing let's select this and move it up a little bit this will make it seem a little bit more dynamic let's add a subdivision modifier by clicking Control 1 now go into edit mode and edge mode go into select choose sharp edges and make sure you also select the middle part here click Control E choose edge crease and turn this all the way up to one now let's make the metal material go into render preview mode click this arrow turn off scene lights and scene roll to get some lights to preview with go into material add a material make this metallic turn the roughness down a little bit and click the object and search for shade smooth to shade it smooth and let's also add a smooth by angle modifier and if you look closely on the reference we see that it has some lines which means it's brush metal let's try to make this in the material to do that add a noise texture node preview it by clicking Control shift let's make the scale 50 select it and click Control t to add a texture coordinate and mapping node change the scale to 0.001 and on the y-axis keep it at one now we have some nice lines here and now let's add a bump node connect the factor into the height from the noise texture connect the normal into normal and let's make the strength 0.2 preview this material now we have some nice lines here also let's add a bevel node put it between the bump and the material node now let's turn this down to 0.01 one. Now we have a nice edge here to pick up lights. And now we just have to duplicate this into three claws, rotate them a little bit, scale down the outer ones a little bit. And now we have Wolverine claws in five minutes. Hey, good 
download the project file for free with the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about Blender, follow me for weekly tutorials and comment below if you want me to model something specific. Thanks for watching and see you next time.